Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share today's DIY project with you. I ordered some gallery glass window color paint. It's made by Plaid. Um, I ordered mine off of Amazon because I wanted the bigger bottles and Amazon carries the eight ounce bottles. They're $9 a bottle, I think, or nine or $10 a bottle. Um, I'll make sure to share the link with you guys below, but the company that makes gallery glass paint is called plaid and you can actually go to plaid's website and get tips for different techniques you can do with your paints they have different colors that you can get if you're looking for a stained glass effect maybe but i wanted clear and just so i could get a textured um a textured look instead of a stained glass look i almost bought some vinyl for the window so they sell like rolls and sheets of stained glass like looking <laughs> stained glass pieces that you can adhere to the window i almost went that direction but i didn't want to have a stained glass window in the bathroom i just the window's too big it's not the right time period i just it wouldn't have worked I, at least i don't think it would have worked so i went with this because it dries clear so it goes on um, white it dries clear it's kind of messy you could probably do this a lot cleaner than I did but I was way too excited to think ahead so I just smeared it on with my hand it'll run down it is runny so it's as you can see it's kind of all going down to the bottom of the window but that's okay it cleans up super easy with a paper towel um, the main goal here is when you first put it on just to smear it all over the window so now if you're using a sponge or a paintbrush that'll I'm you know that'll make it easier I'm sure but I just wanted to show you how I did it and it was kind of fun so I smeared it all over the window I made sure to get around the edges of the window really good and again that's why i used my fingers i think just so that i made sure that i got into all of the areas that i needed to and since the window is vertical of course i knew that there was going to be a little bit of dripping but this is what it looks like once it's all smeared on there and the next step is to make a design in the paint so plaid has different techniques on their website um if you guys go i will make sure to put the link um, in the comments as well for Plaid's website so that you can go there and check out all the different tips that they have on how to use the paint. Um, this one, I'm just, <laughs> I'm using my fingers. I'm taking two fingers and doing circular motions on the window in the paint just to kind of make a, I guess like a wave is what I was going for. I wanted it to look wavy, like that old glass that you see in the Victorian houses where the glass is bubbled or textured and it's got waves or ripples in it. That's kind of what I wanted to do. Um, and I thought the circles would just be the easiest way because I didn't have anything else on hand right now. I had a whole bunch of stuff going on and I haven't really gotten out. So you guys know that I order everything. So I have to wait for stuff to come in. So, um, yeah, I, I was impatient this time and I just went ahead and smeared it all over and did these circle patterns, nothing too uniform. So it's very random, but you could do this. I'm sure in so many different ways and i probably will order more just to try it out and see if there's anywhere else um i'm thinking about like our pantry doors when we redo the laundry room and make it into a laundry slash pantry room i'm wanting one of the doors to be glass so i'm thinking of trying some different techniques out for the, in preparation for that now the mess at the bottom is real easy like i said you just take a paper towel and wipe it up just make sure that you don't wipe any of the paint off of the glass and if you do it's not a huge deal you can go back and just touch up um, wherever you see maybe the paint isn't as thick as you want it to be in some areas um, but just take that paper towel it'll wipe right off I wasn't super worried about a mess with this particular project just because um, I know that we are going to be doing some painting and some other things in here later and I see a spot there that I had to go back and touch up and I just spread it just a little bit more. Now I did the left side window first, left side of the window first, and then I did the right side. So the left side, as you can see, this is the end result. So it dries clear and those circles just kind of 
give you that ripple effect at least that I was hoping to get. I'm pretty happy with it. Although I do wish I would have washed the outside of the window so you guys could see it. I might come back later and add a picture, but I love it. I think it turned out great. It's opaque, so it helps with the view as far as, not really opaque, it's transparent, but it is textured so that it does obscure the view from the outside in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.